Electric vehicles will make a significant contribution to meeting the UK's net zero targets. Accelerating their use will deliver around 300 million tonnes in CO2 reduction by 2050. Battery technology is essential to make this shift and also supports other industries beyond transport, representing a big market opportunity that could easily be worth 8 billion across the UK by 2025. The UK government and industry are investing to realise this opportunity now. The Faraday Battery Challenge is funding up to 321 million in UK research and innovation in battery technologies. Capturing a common view of good practice is essential to help organisations throughout the battery supply chain to work together. This is relevant to the concept phase, core processes manufacturing, logistics and the actual use of the batteries and cells. And the more widely this good practice is used, the more everyone can benefit. PSI has developed a standardisation programme to meet this need. This is supported by the Faraday Battery Challenge, UK Research and Innovation, the UK Battery Industrialisation Centre and our industry. Working with industry, we identified that the environment, health and safety, whilst manufacturing, were our initial priorities. This good practice helps organisations to improve efficiency, manage risks and make facilities more insurable. The programme also includes research into the existing standards landscape and a roadmap that identifies future priorities for us. Standards and best practice have a key role in the Faraday Battery Challenge in supporting the growth of the battery industry in the UK and internationally. Each of the standards is focused on a different part of the value chain. There is a common thread throughout with a focus on health and safety, environmental performance and quality management. PASS 7062 addresses battery cells and includes a focus on materials and traceability, as well as health and safety related to chemicals and materials. PASS 7060 considers the quality, environmental impact and safety of the battery systems as part of the electric vehicle, including from a design perspective. And finally, PASS 7061 bridges between the two with a focus on safe and environmentally conscious handling of battery packs and modules. The standards are intended for use by organisations throughout the electric vehicle battery supply chain, including engineering, manufacturing, handling, transporting and servicing. They are also useful for researchers, government and regulators, emergency services and insurers. The creation of these guidelines help us to transfer knowledge and experience of what we've built at UKBIG and then shared with industry and our peers. This new guidance on good practice will enable organisations throughout the supply chain to think about the skills, policy and training they need to handle battery materials, cells, batteries themselves and vehicle safety. It will help manage and mitigate risks from specific hazards including electrical, chemical and fire, helping manufacturers consider the design of electric vehicles to make the safest car and battery with the least environmental impact at the minimum cost, and manufacturing with the environment in mind, including reducing emissions and supporting reuse and second life.